I'm just going to speak and impart some wisdom, some nuggets I've learned over the years so we can be an effective agent of change so we can know how to use our voice. If you just bear with me, I'm here to serve you. And I just want to kind of get into your business for a minute because we can't really be an effective leader if we don't have our own personal housekeeping in order. Uh, anybody, amen on that? Anybody? Or is it just me? Is it just me? Is it just me? So we're going to talk about uh, some tenements of preparation, choices in life, the power of your mind, transformation, and finally breaking through with the epiphany. Breaking through with the epiphany. So I'm going to get a little bit in your business, but I'm in my business too, so it's okay. A lot of times when I speak to others, I'm speaking to myself because again, we're all collective. This is a movement. We're all working together, and um, we need each other. You know, this whole thing about women not supporting each other that needs to that needs to go. And a lot of people don't realize if you're prepared, you will always yield results. Doors can't stay closed to a prepared person. Now, what's the old adage they say? Luck is when, what, preparation meets opportunity? Now, I don't believe in that. I believe preparation is being diligent, hardworking, structured, and little faith and little influence from the man above. If we stay prepared, we don't need to get ready. And a lot of times, it can be little habits in our life that we can do, as simple as even making your bed in the morning that will shock you on how you start your day. Just little things. I just finished reading a book called Atomic Habits. And it just talks about how to do minor things to help create the structure in your life.